Libra, what's going on? Welcome back to Soul Vibe with Carrie. Back again with another love tarot card reading here for you. So Libra, this love tarot card reading is going to be all about your love life, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and tune into the energy around you for this week. Whenever you come across this video in January 2021, that's when this video is just meant to reach you. So go with the flow, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Libra? Libra. Okay. Actually, I got my four cards there, Libra. So I'm just tuning into the energy of what's going on here. Okay. I definitely feel like you're standing in your power and you're following your intuition around this time. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a cancer or you may be dealing with a another um, another air sign. Okay, I feel like things are turning in your favor with this person. Okay, I feel like there's things that this person, I feel like there's things that you have discovered, okay, or that you're dreaming about or that your subconscious is telling you about this person, okay? Also, it's, it's, I feel like they came forward and they offered you something and you didn't take it, right? With the four of cups here, it's like you, you like denied their, Maybe they asked you out on a date or something and, and you feel like you were being fair. You feel like this is basically like their karma because, you know, they they must have done something to you in the past or something like that, right? So let me go ahead and get a solution here, please. Okay, solution. Whew. So what I'm getting is I'm getting a lot of energy right now. Libra. Okay, but um, overall... Um, you need to feel secure, okay? You need to know that whatever you did, okay, standing your power about it because you did the right choice, okay? Some of you maybe are like second guessing, okay? Maybe you kind of regret not um, coming forward and taking this this offer. I don't know if this was, this could have been a job offer. This could have been any kind of offer, okay? This is a love reading though, so maybe it was like some kind of date or maybe this person reached out and you ignored him. Something on that note, okay? Follow your intuition with this Libra, but what I'm seeing here with these cards is like you were being fair, okay? You were. You were standing in your power, okay? You've learned from your mistakes is what I'm hearing, and you're definitely following your intuition. You chose, you made your decision, okay? It was a very balanced, a very good decision you made, okay? So some of you are kind of not feeling um, safe about this, though, is what I'm hearing. Some of you feel like you made the wrong decision, but this is spirit confirming that you made the right decision and, and saying, you know, spirit is telling you you are safe, so there's nothing, okay, there's nothing you're doing wrong. You're at the right place at the right time, okay? So I will be pulling out an um, affirmation card for you guys. That was for the last group. Sorry about that. But let's go ahead and see. Your wish is coming true. Celebrate your success. Okay, so to me, this just means that everything is going to work out as it should. Okay, within your love life and even within your career, because obviously this mermaid is going down and getting the treasure. I feel like you hold the key to the treasure. I feel like by following your intuition, you're being led to this beautiful, amazing new restart. Okay, Libra, very refreshing energy to see. Okay, you standing in your own power, you've shown up here in your power. Okay, hold your ground around this week with any um, offerings. Don't don't let people don't let people who um, seem suspicious or who seem off. Don't let them doubt your intuitions around this time. I feel like this can even be around people you work with or people maybe who even like if you have like a social media platform or something and people leave like negative comments or something like that. Don't let these people um, doubt your intuition. I feel like in the past you did. You were kind of like, hmm. A little bit wishy-washy or something, right? You were like doubting yourself just a bit is what I'm hearing. But don't let that happen because you are, um, you're very powerful is what I'm hearing. Okay, Libra, especially around this time. It's like you're, 
yeah, you're being led to the right place at the right time. And this is going to bring you tremendous success. Okay, whether this is with somebody else too, like if you're dealing with um, uh, your love partner, Libra, what I'm hearing is that whatever you're doing at the moment is going to bring this person back if that's what you want to hear. Okay, but we will tune into tarot card more. But I'm going to go ahead and get your spirit animal cards first. So we get one. And can I get one more, please? Yeah, what I'm feeling though is like whoever you were dealing with, I feel like they might have kept some secrets or something. Or they're keeping something from you, okay? If you are dealing with like um, another a female energy, okay? Maybe light-skinned, maybe light-skinned, okay? Or may just be an air sign or someone who kind of stands in their power and just um, has learned a lot from their mistakes. Maybe like a mother figure kind of thing, but can also be a little bit cold or a little bit mean okay i feel like this person if you're you're gonna resonate with this because i feel like everybody's different and there's different energies here right so i'm just touching up on everything i see this person is hiding something they're holding something back it's like they have these four cups here there's this moon energy in between you two okay you're you're justice over here right you're this justice card libra and there's something in between you, something hiding, something in the dark, something you don't know about. We'll tune into tarot a little bit more in just a second. So here I get the bee and the scorpion. The scorpion is a very powerful energy right off the bat. And it talks about intuition as well. I will read into that though. Okay, and this may be someone you work with for sure because you get the bee energy is about, blah, blah, blah. bee energy is all about work. Okay, and working and the bee energy is very gentle though. So I feel like, I feel like you in general, I feel like this can definitely be you, okay? Or this can be your energy and then sometimes it can turn into that kind of thing where it's like, you know just when to strike. You know when to say no, you know when to say yes, so don't doubt yourself, okay? So Libra, let me go ahead and just read into what Scorpion fire energy. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, but let's go ahead and Scorpio obviously always represents water, but in this deck, it's fire. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's go ahead and see what this card is all about. Sorry, guys, I can't find it. <laughs> Here it is. Passionate, competitive, um... Tends towards isolation, wild and free, okay? Fierce, jealous, resentful, unresolved, honesty, forgiveness. So if you are feeling jealous or resentful or unresolved or like something is not working your way and you feel like this doesn't resonate with you at all, Libra, what I'm hearing is that you just need um, honesty and forgiveness, okay? So forgive those people who have done you wrong or who mm, just forgive everyone, to attract good karma. Seriously. That's just point blank, period. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus here. I'm going to get an affirmation card really quick. Perfect. So this is really standing out to me. It says, I have respect for my body. And I treat it well. I affirm positive things about my body and tell it I love it often. I know and I affirm that my body is a friendly place to live. Very beautiful energy for you, Libra. So let's go ahead and clarify this up for you, though, because I do want to know. So this is my shadow deck, okay? I call it my shadow deck because I feel like it gives me just aspects sometimes I don't see. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Four of Cups, please, for Libra. Okay, so we get the uh, Ten of, wow, Ten of Cups. Okay, very interesting. So with this, I'm seeing that this, this may be someone within your family. Okay, I feel like this Four of Cups has the potential to turn into this Maybe so, Maybe right now you're just not seeing the bright side of things because I see a lot of gray. A lot of gray. Okay, it's like 
you're trying to see the bright side of things, but it's hard, right? So I feel like, um, like this four of cups is going to eventually turn into the ten of cups where you're really happy. Okay, maybe you have a home or or home with somebody. Wow, the ace of potions. Okay, Libra. So yeah, so th this there's definitely going to be something new coming for you. Okay, something refreshed. This can be with the same person you're thinking about. If you have nobody and this is someone who's single, um, this is definitely um, a card of just refreshed new energy coming through wow i do see someone coming for you though okay this is a strong water sign here libra strong water sign that wants to offer you basically everything is what i'm hearing some of you are going to give this to somebody because you're ready you're just ready okay you have a lot to give you have a lot to offer okay you have a lot to offer this may be another this may be a water sign okay this may be a water sign and things are definitely um coming into balance huge fulfillment huge fulfillment okay for you libra very beautiful so let's go ahead and get one more card for this justice card please <laughs> can i get a clarification for this justice card please Five of presents. Okay, so what I'm getting with this Libra is that you're really you're you're scared to be left out in the cold. You are, but spirit is saying that you need to be um you need to be hopeful. You get the star card, okay? The star card energy is all about, you know, staying hopeful, staying positive, okay, knowing everything is gonna work out in your favor. And spirit is saying, Yeah, it is, because you get the justice card here. Okay, things are gonna turn in your favor. With this five of presence, I see that you're, you've been left out on the cold before and you're scared that things are not going to work out in between you and this person. But I really feel like Spirit is saying your wish is coming true. Embrace it. Enjoy it. Don't be scared. You're safe. Feel safe. Go ahead and do some root chakra work, okay? Because if you're not feeling safe, you're feeling like things are not going to work in your favor, Libra. What I'm hearing is that they are going to work in your favor, but you need to really um, embrace that energy, okay? Embrace the energy that you're okay, that you're safe, that you're with the right person, that everything is going to work out just fine. I feel like there's a lot of passion in between you two. I feel like there's a good balance. I feel like you also need to clean your aura, okay? Some of you need to clean your aura with sage or with palo santo, something like that, okay? Because you may be overworked at the moment, or you may be working around people who are just not very nice or something like that. Or or people who are difficult. Okay, let's go ahead and get what this connection is about, please. So we get two cards. We get the cosmic heart. Yeah, so some of you may have a heart chakra blockage because this came out in the reverse. We get devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Some of you may enjoy praying and the spirit is asking you to enjoy and keep doing that because that's really going to help you. Okay, your connection with God also affects your connection within your relationship. Okay, God or spirit or whatever it is you believe in here, Libra. Okay, you also get star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. So exactly what I was getting is, uh, you know, this, I don't feel like it's a bad secret. I just feel like there's just things that are still in the works that you're not meant to know about at the moment. Okay, I am not sure what this is about. I think you could follow your intuition with this one. Um, but with the moon card, I do see and the ancestors card hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper okay you're being called yeah you're being called here judgment back of the deck energy you're being called to um do something okay you're being called to look deeper or maybe you're being called to do research on something okay maybe you're being called to do some different type of job or to come forward to somebody okay that you left to come and reach out and and offer this cup of love to this person Maybe that's for some of you. Take what resonates, you guys. Don't don't lash out. I'm just reading the cards and trying to touch up on different energies here. But Libra, um, I am seeing that you, that there's a call you need to answer. Okay, this is about somebody you left. Maybe somebody you ended something with. Okay. <sighs> this can be a karmic cycle that's still in the works. Okay. 
there's something stable here. You need to have a lot of a strength at the moment. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a, a guidance here for you. So just go ahead and do some root chakra work, okay? Something that's going to make you feel grounded and safe. Working out is something great you can do, Libra, in order to balance your root chakra. So that is all I have for you today, though. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. I will see you guys at your next reading. Okay, bye.